Hello everyone, I'm back today to share with you uh, making a box for this jewellery. Um, these earrings, bracelet and necklace I made using the Spring Bling jewellery kit which Dawn brought out in March, I think it was March, yes. <laughs> and, um, and it was great fun to play with. So there was a selection of beads all in these beautiful green colours. There were the jump rings, the lobster clasps, and the the wire for um, make, you know, mounting the beads on, and also the collots and the crimp beads. So, so I made these. I've shown it on my channel, um, and I also used her earring making kit to make uh, these three pairs of earrings. And that's all, Look, if you want to look back to see how I made them. Now, um, I watched Dawn make a box for her jewellery, so I, I, and I thought it was such a good idea. But I thought I'd come on and share with you my version. So I've already actually done the base and the lid of the, the box. I've just used plain white card for it. And as you can see, the box fits perfectly um, and there are videos on my channel as well on how to make a box so I, I, I've skipped all of this so as not to make the video too long and I've gone ahead and made the insert for the base which is going to hold the jewellery so I don't know if you can see so this the box is an inch deep and then this bit is half an inch deep okay so it's made on the same principle as making a box but instead of you know um, making tabs at the corners, you cut the corners away so that when you close it, they just fold, they just meet like that, and there's no bulk. Okay, and then at the top, I've I've made some slits down, and I don't know if you can see there's a hole with the hole punch. This fellow, I've just made a a hole at the end of the slit. Okay. I've also punched some holes, so there are two holes here, and there are one, two, three, four here. So I did that very simply. I just got got my my roll of um, kitchen towel and my pokey tool, and I just did by eye the these holes, and then these two as well. I just did it by eye, more or less, you know, equidistant. So we're going to before we pop this into the box we're going to put the jewelry on so the reason we've got these slits is so that we can hang our um our jewelry um behind and, and it will slot onto a space between a bead and um on the wire so i'm just going to move it a little bit because i want it to be right to the the bottom of the of the um, thing, so, so I want it to be, and I want it to look equal. So, sorry, I'm making a bit of a mess of this. Let's start again. Okay, so I want it to be the length of my, the length of the piece of card, and so more or less, I have to put it. Kind of like this, I think. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so that fits perfectly to the bottom. And there's a reason why I want it to go to the bottom. Now I'm going to put the bracelet in. I'm going to put the bracelet um, in the same hole, but I'm going to undo the bracelet. And, um, and I'm just going to slip it over into the same hole. Um, like so. So that we have something like that, and I'm going to pop it into oops, pop it into my box. like so. There we are. So I've used um, silver glitter card for my base. Um, 
because I thought that would, would show up the, the green. Right, now the reason why I've, I've done this is I want the, the longest earrings. Uh, let's see which ones are the longest of these, two. Uh, sorry, these ones. I'm just going to poke the ear wires into these holes. I think, um, I think that should work. Yeah. And then the other two pairs are going to go down here. So, like so. Okay. So, that's that. And this is... That okay, so there we are. So, so when we open the box, this is what we're going to see. So I think that looks that looks nice. Now I want to decorate my box. Don't want to leave it in a plain white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decorate the lid, and I wanted to use some of Dawn's lovely papers. So I've chosen. Um, the Garden Treasures collection, which came out in September last year. So this is the collection of papers. And they're, they're absolutely beautiful. And maybe I can just show you here. Um, so we've got this uh, lilac -y one with flowers, this greeny one, blue, this green, plain green. Then there's pinky green here and purples and blues. So I've, pe I've taken out... Oy! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've taken out um, some papers that I thought might might work um, that go with the green. So, um, so I, I did think of this one. Actually, this one would be big enough for the top. Um, this would be big enough for the sides. So maybe, maybe that one. Oops. Or maybe the pink. I'm wavering towards the pink, actually, because I think I think the pink with the green bits will look nice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this. Um, some other bits here. Let's just get rid of those. So I'm going to measure the top of my base. That's my tape measure, my ruler. So my bait that my the lid is. Four and a half, four and no, sorry, three and five eighths. So I'm going to write this down, otherwise I'm going to forget. Three and five eighths. So I will cut it at three and a half. And the lit this way it is six, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. So six and one eighth. I think that should work and I want to use this bit down here so I need my big guillotine for this put my box out of the way so did I say six and one eighth so that's six and halfway one eighth by Three and a half. I want this bit here. Three and a half. Okay, let's hope this is right. Where's the lid? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's okay. It's a little bit longer than it is wide, so maybe I'll go to six. No, I'll just go a little bit less. Let's see, let's cut a slither off. Yeah, that's better. So let's stick this down before I do anything else. My glue. glue. Yeah. So... This, this Garden Treasures kit is lovely. Um, gorgeous papers, very, bright, very vi vibrant and lovely flowers. And uh, I love flowers myself, and I know Dawn does as well. So most of her card kits have got some ele floral element in them. Okay, so I've stuck that down. I'm just going to 
make sure that that's stuck down so now I need to do the sides so this should be the same yeah this is the same length so I'm going to use the same piece of paper and I'm not going to measure it this time but well, I am going to measure it. I'm going to measure it against this one so okay so and just make a mark there so first of all I'm going to cut that little slither off so it's the same length like so and then I'm going to measure this um, depth so the length is right and I'm just going to measure the depth now so I just want a little bit of white around the edges so I'm just going to put a mark here and, and then cut this down. I have already put the finger, um, the, 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 the loops for the, or the half moon shape for the fingers. So, so let me see how wide this is. This is... Okay, so I don't think I, I can't I can't see um, a ready mark that I can use, so I have to do it like this. So I'm just going to put another little mark here. I'm just going to cut two strips for the obviously for these for one side and the other. You can measure it if you want, you know, and and uh, do it that way. But um, sometimes I find it just as quick to use um, to use a a pen. <laughs> just mark it off. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down, and I'll I will put um I'll put the half moon back once I put this once this is stuck down. I'll cut into it again. Oops. So I'm going to pop this here. So pretty, isn't it? Such a pretty colour. Okay, so that's there. So as I said, I'll cut that off in a minute. And then this one, I'm going to put this side. That should be okay. Uh, I do have some uh, an announcement to make. Let me see. Now, this coming weekend, the weekend of the 24th, this is going up on the 24th of May. Um, so the, the 24th of May to the 27th is Dawn's uh, first anniversary of her website. So as a result of that, she's offering 10% off on the, the whole website just uh, until um, just until the end of the 27th of May. So that's a great opportunity to go and buy some some uh, shiny shiny treasures. <laughs> and, um, uh, and, and very exciting and you know I think we have to you know say well done to dawn for for um you know for running such a successful business she's done so well and i mean first of all she started off just on etsy and then as i said a year ago she set up her own website and that's wonderful you know it's so enterprising i don't think i could have done that um well i know i couldn't have done it so <laughs> you know, so Right, so I'm just going to measure the, the length of this now. So you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just popping it on here and I'm making it the same length as the top. Just so that it all matches. I'm just going to do these two together. I think well, I will put a, a mark on it just in case. Okay, if you are going to do uh, a marks on your paper, obviously, if you can do it on the back, 
there's no risk of uh, getting those marks on the, on the front. And then they won't show. But if you can't do that, because for whatever reason, uh, do, do make sure that if you are going to do that, you use a pencil. And, and I didn't use a pencil for mine. I was using a biro. Oops. But I was marking on the back. So, right. So we're just going to stick these two down. I'm just going to decide which one I want wet where. Yeah, I think, I think so. And then we're going to decorate the top a little bit with some of the flowers that uh, are in this Garden Treasures kit. Okay. So. You can, you know, if you don't want to buy the card making kit, you can get the papers separately. And, um. And the fussy cut sheets you can get separately. So, um, yeah, and so beautiful. Right, so let's bring this back. Here we have our, our earrings. Here we have our everything else. Let's pop this on. Oh, I'm going to cut this again. So I'm just using my one inch punch. And I'll just bring this in so I can see exactly where that was and cut, cut it out. So, okay, there we are. So that's fine. Pop the lid on. Like so. And now, as I said, we're going to look for some flowers to decorate the top with. Um, I don't know if I've got an ephemera pack here. I should have them um, should have been a bit more organized, shouldn't I? So so we've got these flowers. We've got this fussy cutting sheet. I've got this one and I've got these. So I've got the yellows and I've got the blue. So these are the these are all the one. Oh, there's this one. So those are all the flowers that I could use. Um, I think. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Oh, and I've got this as well. This is the. This comes with the kit. This is a separate um, floral kit, fussy cutting kit. I'm just going to see which I prefer or if there's anything different. So, so this is the A5 size. Obviously, this is the one which goes with this paper. Um, but I'm thinking of this one. I think I quite like that one. Um, I might keep the leaves out. So, let's see. I like the yellow. I think I, I do like this one. So maybe I'll just use these ones. Keep these. Keep these for another moment. So let's first cut these out. I don't know how many I'm going to need. But... Uh, we can have a go. I think I must have used all the the fussy cut elements when I was doing my design team work for the for this went for this release. But the kit is is full of amazing things, I have to say. And again, you know, if you are interested in buying the card making kit, this this one of um, Garden Treasures. Just go over either to Dawn's uh, channel and see uh, her unboxing of it. Or uh, I think there is an unboxing on my channel as well. But Dawn does actually explain things so much better than I do. So obviously <laughs> she knows all the ins and outs of, uh, of the things as she's put the kit together. Um, 
Uh, so, and also, I hope you're well. We're coming up now, aren't we, to the um, the late May bank holiday. So, you know, maybe you're going to have you've got some exciting plans for this bank holiday. Um, I will actually be away, so I'm doing this video well in advance. Um, I'm be, um, I am spend, spending um, a couple of weeks in Scotland while during May, and uh, so trying to get everything done before I go away, because obviously I can't take all my craft things away with me, um, especially as I'm going by train. Um, if I was going by car, I could take a few things with me, but uh, this time I'm going by train, so um, so I've decided that instead of paper crafting, I'm going to take my cross stitch and my diamond paint art paintings because they they're sort of complete kits which are easy to transport. They're not too heavy; they don't take up too much room. Because we all know that if you do take paper crafting away with you, you have to do, you have to be, you know, you have to think. You need the glue, you need the scissors, you need uh, paper, card blanks. Oh, this is it. <laughs> the uh, list is endless. And then obviously the material that you want to use to create your cards. I think I'm loving these uh, flowers. I think these are what we're going to use, definitely. I do need three, the rule of three, and I might see if there are any pearls or anything in this kit to add a little bit of dimension. So. Really, I really loved using the uh, the jewelry kit. Um, it was such fun, and I, I do think I think actually Dawn's bringing out another one later in the year, so watch that space. But she does have loads of um, findings and beads and uh, you know jewelry making equipment on her website. If that's something that that you would like to explore, um, you know, to, for making dangles or jewelry of any type, really. So I think I think that's nice, and that's what I'm going to go for. So we'll stick these down. But I'm just wondering if I can give them a little bit of dimension. Um, so we'll stick them down. Just give them a bit of. See whether we go the up up way or down the way. Definitely down. <laughs> Definitely down. Uh, I've been thinking back over the last few years when I started YouTube and how much I have learnt and how much my style has perhaps changed or um, the techniques I use, you know, uh, a bit more adventurous now. And that's all thanks to everybody that, that I follow on YouTube, um, you know, and the amazing projects that uh, people have shared um, so I am really grateful I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue at the end of these um, petals otherwise it's going to spring up but let's see if I can get a bit of a bit of dimension even so yeah just a little bit on the ends So I'd also like to say a big thank you to everybody who stood by me. Um, at the time of filming, I'm nearly on 600 subscribers and never in my wildest dreams did I think I would ever reach that amount. And I will be doing a giveaway, um, which I will announce when I get back from Scotland. Um, it will be... Uh, it will be something quite simple and I'm afraid it will be for UK only because the prize will be a bit heavy to be sending abroad I think we I think we all understand 
that that don't we that that we can't um post to you know across the waters as much as we would like to um now let me see if i've got any any jemmies left in here mm, no no bow bow might be nice in here no this this kit is really jam-packed full i have to say um got these but i don't think they're the right color no okay so i'm going to see if i've got anything uh, lying around i can put i just want to put something in the middle of the flowers really um don't have much lying around um, bear with me maybe in the um victorian treasures i think i've still got some gems in here these flowers maybe I could incorporate these flowers on top have a look I've got, got one of these, one of those, and let's see the other two, whether these flowers would look nice. These are some of Dawn's handmade flowers. Oh, yes. I think they would be nice, wouldn't they? I'm just thinking that this one might be a little bit too big. Maybe not. Okay. We're going with those. And so I have mixed up um, Spring Bling, Garden Treasures and Victorian Treasures. So that's really good, isn't it? I'm just going to see if any of these bows would look nice. Um, got the white one. Nice. And the pink one. I don't like the pink one on there. I've got this white one or I've got this white one. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's quite cute. I don't tend to put um, bows on things, I must say. So, um, it's good to uh, come out of my comfort zone to do that. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of these little squares just to make sure that, that the flowers stick because I um, don't want them falling off. There we are. And I'll just put it, maybe just put it, put a bit, big blob of glue on the back of there. And stick that there so there we are so I, I finished so I hope you like this project and um, I hope you know that, that uh, oh, yes I hope you like the project <laughs> and I hope whoever like whoever gets this will like it I think it's such a lovely present and the um, box is um, you know it just sets it off doesn't it you know having a having a something in a box i could have just put them in a bag but i think the box looks nice and i i'd like to thank dawn really for that for showing us how to do those boxes with the 
slits in the corners because I didn't know how to do that, how to make the inner inner bit. So so this has been a you know a good learning curve for me as well. Anyway, enough. I must have gabbled on for a long time. Half an hour. My goodness me, I'm so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> take care everybody and don't forget to go to across to Dawn's channel this weekend and see if there's any any goodies that you want to buy because you'll get that 10% off automatically at the at the at the uh, checkout valid until the 27th of May. So thank you for watching. Take care. Have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.